Um, it was it's, it's my first feature. Um, I, di I did shorts and music videos for local things uh, before, but um, nothing on this type of a scale. Well, I wasn't sure if I'd ever get the chance to make another movie again, so <laughs> I kind of wanted to put everything that I've always wanted to put in a movie in there, and I didn't get to put everything in there, you know, uh, but but <laughs> I put in a lot, probably more than I should have, but it, it was a lot of, I, I wanted to have fun this first time around, because you know, you never know when you're doing this kind of thing, you never know if you're going to get the chance to do it again, and, and, and so... I wanted, you know, I wanted zombies, I wanted demons, I wanted, you know, muta mutant, you know, monsters, transformations, you know, all types of death and, you know, mayhem. You know, the only thing that I'm sad that I, I didn't really get to get in there was, uh, like, a bog monster. I'd, I'd really like to get a bog monster in a movie sometime in the, in the future. <laughs> we made use of what we had, you know, we, we, we made use of... Uh, our resources and we didn't have a lot of money so we couldn't pay for location fees so we just I just you know called up all of my family members all my friends and said hey can I use your houses can I can I use your backyards you know and everyone was like yeah let's make a movie you know? and it was great it was fun I, I've, I've always been interested with you know the supernatural and demons and creatures and monsters of all types and uh, I, I've, I've been a painter for most of my artistic life, I guess. Uh, so, incorporating all kinds of different creatures and mythologies that I've been working on with friends over the years, uh, it, it was nice to finally have a chance to pull all, all of that out and put it into a movie. I, I think, you know, I'm inspired by filmmakers. Um, Art painters, um, some writers. Uh, my, I guess, music. Uh, lo lots of things. I mean, I'm inspired by everything. You know, just just like most people. But uh, I would say, if I had to break it down, um, okay. One of my favorite movies of all time is From Beyond. Mm. Uh, also, Wild at Heart. Um, I love. Ernst Fuchs is a big inspiration for me, uh, a painter, an uh, Austrian painter. Um, Dali, of course, is a big influence. Um, yes, Pan's Labyrinth. Uh, I, I love Pan's Labyrinth. Guillermo del Toro is, is a big inspiration. Um, I think um, Pale Man, more so than the movie, just the creature Pale Man and, and, and you know, the Fano uh, were very inspirational, like all the works that DDT uh, effects did in that movie were a big inspiration for me, uh, pra like with, with effects, with my effects and stuff. I uh, definitely, when I was uh, try like teaching myself to, to do practical effects, I uh, actually tried to watch as many behind the scenes videos on like the making of Pale Man and stuff and, and how they did that, because I knew that they did like some com combination of like silicone and foam latex, which is what I was doing, so. And, uh, and and I know the DDT effects is they're pretty small uh, as as far as you know like for, for like for big movies you don't see special effects companies that small usually doing stuff that great and so it was a big inspiration for me to see like you know there's only like a couple like a, a few people in that group doing those types of practical effects and they do them with such uh, just detail. You know, such it's just so much attention to detail with that stuff. I wanted to try to, you know, I was looking up to that for sure, for sure. Yeah, big inspiration. Yeah, well, I don't have a lot of backgrounds in special effects. I I was uh, I worked in haunted houses before and just mostly doing latex, you know, build ups, construction makeups, um, pretty basic stuff, you know, with grease and, and nose wax and things, and. Um, but it was it was a big inspiration working in those haunted houses, you know, because you you could see what you can do with so little, and uh, I was man, I want to do this except bigger. I want a movie, you know, and and uh, I started teaching myself on my own time. Uh, made made a, we built a studio on my family farm, um, a special effects studio where I could you know create and practice. And uh, during the first year of filmmaking for the Demons Rook. Uh, I, 
was teaching myself uh, through trial and error and reading books and watching movies, uh, like instructional DVDs and stuff, uh, on how to how to make these practical effects. And yeah, it, it was it was it was a hard process. <laughs> I wish I, I wish I could have gone to school to afford to, to have gone to school for it. I, it probably I, I would have done some things differently, um, but. It was a good experience, and, and I learned a lot through that. I had never done anything like, you know, silicone casting and fiberglass molding and stuff. No, yeah, this, yeah. this was all new, new to me mm -hmm. for, for this. But, um, but yeah, sculpting and painting I've been doing since I was a kid. And, and so that kind of came naturally to me. And I think that's what inspired me to, to decide to take on the responsibility of doing the special makeup effects. I was like, well, you know what? The only thing I really need to learn how to do is molding. So if I can do that, which was, it's probably the hardest thing to do, <laughs> because it's it's like baking, you know. There's it's it's an exact science, and if you get if there's one little thing that you do wrong, especially with fiberglass molding and silicone molding, uh, everything falls to shit, and it's it's uh, very very hard, <laughs> but but rewarding. You you get some really good pieces doing it that way. Strong, good. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't like CGI very much in movies. Um, sometimes it's done well. Usually, you have to have like a, a really expensive team to, together to, to get CGI done really well. And it's usually the best times where you see CGI done well is I think when it's done on top of practical effects, when you already have something there to do it on top of. Um, like so a even, composite, even, composite, right? Yeah, so even then, yeah, like composite. Um, even then, I feel like you really need practical effects to, to get... Especially when you're doing like low-budget horror movies. I mean, that's, that's part of the fun. That's why you want to go watch these movies, is to see the practical effects, to see the blood, the real blood sprayed on the people's faces. And, and like, I don't know, there's just there's something so visceral and, and tangible about it. And, and for the actors, too, to be able to like... It's just more fun, you know? Like, I wouldn't want to have to... Imagine just what it's gonna be like, and just trust that you know it's gonna look, you know. Oh well, in the end, you know they'll pull it together. You know, like no, I want to see it. You know, we're out there filming. I want to, I want to see the, I want to see her like rip the fucking head off of his shoulders and be, oh, like while we're filming, like oh my god, what am I doing? You know, like it's great. It's great. <laughs> it's so much fun, and it's and it's cheaper. It's easier to to do practice. And a lot of times, I think, not only do you get a better result, but there's the process, you know, of like mixing up the blood and adding the food coloring and then like, you know, like putting it in your mouth and tasting it and like having it pour on the on all your actors and then afterwards, afterwards cleaning up the actors and the actors all getting together and being like, oh my god, I'm covering in blood and it's 30 degrees outside and, and it's just, such, it makes it for such a good experience, you know, and that's what it's all about, you know, is, is having the experience. I mean, the end product is important, but, you know, without, without the experience, it, what, you know, what what really is it? What is it really? You know, I would I would say go for it. I say you you want to make a movie? You know, you've always wanted to make a movie. Just fucking do it. Why not? I mean, like I I, I didn't go to film school. I didn't I didn't have any money. I, I had I I, raised, I had like four thousand dollars in my checking account starting out, and you know I said I'm gonna fake, I'm gonna make a fucking movie. I said, I said to my wife, I'm going to make a movie. She laughed at me and rightfully so because you know it said. Seventy thousand dollars later, you know the movie's finally made. But you know, you just got to you got to put in everything you have. You got to dedicate your life to it. You got to not be afraid to have like three mental, you know, nervous breakdowns while doing it. And, and and you can't be afraid of what your friends and family are gonna think. You just have to bring them all together. You get a good team together. You know, people that that will believe in your vision and uh, and, and share the experience. You, you know, you you can't be a control freak about it. You have to. You have to experience it with everyone else. It's everybody's thing. It's everyone's vision, you know. And you're all coming together to do this thing, and that's how you'll do it. You, you don't need a lot of money, and you don't need a lot of uh, schooling. You just have to have the soul for it, and, and you have to just have the the guts to be able to put everything on hold for a few years. <laughs> and, and you have to understand that you know this this might it's it's not for the money. You you might not, you're not going to make any money. You just you're doing it because you've always wanted to, and, and, and if you really want it, you'll, you'll do it. You'll get it. Just fucking do it. Just fucking do it. Right. <laughs>